American TV Dad in Whitby. We're back here live tonight at the scene of a house explosion that occurred on Wednesday afternoon. You can see the force of the explosion blew out several parts of the home, the entire side there just blown out. Well, tonight, several criminal charges have been laid against one of the men who lives here, including one charge under the new feder uh, under the Federal Cannabis Act. Investigators now believe the explosion happened while butane gas was being used to make cannabis oil. The accused 48-year-old Jody Cormier lived in the basement unit of the home. He is one of three people who suffered minor injuries in the blast. Cormier faces three charges related to arson, criminal negligence, and using a chemical to alter cannabis. The house sustained significant damage during the blast. Engineers have been called in to determine whether it's structurally sound. The blast left five people homeless, including Jonna, who lives on the main floor of the house with her seven-year-old daughter. Jonna has a pet pig named Bentley, who lives in the backyard. She's now looking for a new home for the 200-plus pound animal. Well, he used to live inside, but then he got too big. So we built him a little cabin with some hay and a heat lamp and all that stuff. Um, but now he can't stay back there anymore. It's not safe for him. Uh, he's like family to us. He's the sweetest thing. I cuddled him since he was a baby. He's just sleep on my bed with me. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do without my little buddy. Jonna says she's hoping to find someone willing to permanently adopt Bentley since the animal is technically not supposed to live in a residential area. Now coming up, we'll speak to a lawyer who's represented several dispensaries about the charges. Plus, we'll also speak to one of Canada's top pot producers about producing cannabis oil. American to be dead in Whitby with an update to a story City News brought you yesterday. This is what remains of a house here on Cedar Street after an explosion that left three men with minor injuries. You can see the explosion literally uh, blowing the side of the house out and, and blowing out parts of the house. Well, now one of those men who was injured is now facing criminal charges, including one under the Federal Cannabis Act. Police, uh, police allege that the man was using butane in an attempt to create cannabis oil when the the explosion occurred. Butane is a flammable solvent that is sometimes used by would-be chemists at home to create cannabis oil or shatter. Shatter is a highly concentrated extract that is notoriously very dangerous to make at home, which is why it is illegal. When you're using something like butane or something that is a, a flammable solvent, you risk a risk of explosion, fire, etc. And so it's not only risky for the people who are making it themselves, but wherever they're making it, it runs a risk of the community surrounding. If they're making it in their own home, houses surrounding it could be facing the same kind of physical risk. How serious is the charge? What, what, what could come out of this? I would expect that it will be treated very seriously. Again, it will come down to the actual circumstances of the offense. But again, the government's going to be very concerned with keeping people safe. And while it's okay to grow cannabis in your home, they're going to want to be able to assure the public through prosecution such as this that nobody will be dangerously producing cannabis concentrates in their home. Though cannabis oil is illegal to make, it can still be legally purchased from a licensed producer. Alan Cook of Tweed says it's better to leave it to the professionals. It's a very uh, complicated process, and it's one that's done at our Smith Falls facility under very, very controlled uh, environment. Uh, the room itself that it's done in has to have um, a lot of protection, so blast protection, etc. The machine itself is you know, a multi-million dollar machine that has a lot of field safes built into it. So yeah, it's, it's a very dangerous process, but it's one that we control well, and it's one that can only be done in a really controlled environment. I personally wouldn't recommend someone trying to do it in their home environment. It's definitely something that needs to be done in a very controlled, uh, safe environment. Now, as for the person accused in the investigation here, the actual charge is uh, altering cannabis with an organic solvent. He's also been charged with arson, with disregard for human life and criminal negligence. Anyone with additional information is asked to contact Durham Police. Now, I do want to also update you on another story that uh, was related to the story here. A after this explosion, five people were left homeless, but so was a 200-plus pound pig named Bentley. But the family tells me tonight that Bentley has actually found his forever home. He's being adopted by an animal sanctuary near Orangeville. So a happy ending there.